short. It's just a funny way to start the stream. <laughs> Actually, kind of funny. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the first impressions of ukulele. Come oh, barely keep it together. <laughs> Let me make sure that all my options are set. Okay, yeah, I think so. So, there's been. I don't know if we want to say, we want to say controversy about this game. The question is, is it a good game or not? And there's act, it's actually been split, I think, between reviewers. So with no connections to the whole JonTron debacle, where I really want to take all of I want to take all that consideration away when considering this game because we're just considering is this a good game, okay? And I like platformers. Uh, I like little collector thoughts in theory I kind of want to play this game this looks fun this looks when I when I saw what this what uh, when I saw the um, some of the gameplay videos for this game I'm, I'm like I actually like this looks like it's gonna be a fun game but of course you have people going back and forth about whether it is good or not so I'm actually going to I want to approach this and at the end of the three hours I kind of want to give my take on this game and just kind of in my own way, give my own two cents, review-wise. Is this a good game? Is this worth your time? You know, is it a showing of the failing... It Does it show the failure of um, Kickstarter? Or does it actually show, show that, that Kickstarting a... Um, a spiritual successor, successor to a... to a game can actually be successful? And given the... And given the failure of games like Mighty Number no. 9, and knowing that we have Bloodstained Ritual of the Ninth coming, I think this is an important uh, game to actually address and play and kind of look at because this is not the, this is not going to be the last time we're going to be addressing such issues, and we really need to kind of nail this in the butt, I think, Eddie. So without further, without further ado, Ukulele, a spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie. Oh man. I love this interactive menu. Now, I am, I am going to have to be honest. The only. I have not played any of the Banjo Kazooie games. I actually haven't even played Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I have played some of Donkey Kong 64. I did play, like, uh, Super Mario 64. And I have, like, played other games of the ilk. I played a lot of other 3D platformers. But as far as. The games that this game in particular is paying homage to, uh, 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 homage to, homage to, being an homage to, be, uh, mainly Ban Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, I've not played those games. So I'm coming at this not as somebody who feel, is feeling a lot of nostalgia for the Banjo games, but as somebody who actually loves platformers and 3D platformers, kind of like the being able to just collect things. And, um,. Just I like I like that style of game gameplay, so I'm not really coming at this from the from the nostalgia angle, and I want to make that very clear because if something does not work, I'm not going to be blinded by nostalgia, nostalgia and just you know say well it gets a pass. I'm going to outright say whether it does not work or not. Uh, okay. If cartridges were still popular, this game would have loaded by now. <laughs> if what was still popular? If cartridges were still popular. Did somebody actually say that? No! No, no. That's in the loading screen! Oh. I wasn't paying attention, I was talking. Yeah, I was just sitting here watching the video and it's like, if cartridges were still popular, this would have loaded by now! It's like, <laughs> They at least... That's another thing that I at least love, is that they're going... And they're kind of rewinding the clock back a little bit. Yeah. And it's just like, hey, I we can make fun of this. It's, you know, yeah, have some fun. I mean, I, just the way it's, it's presented, it looks like a much nicer take on, like, an N64 game. Uh-huh. 
And I'm gonna see at the end. I'm not gonna comment too much on the voices. I think until I get to the end, until I know whether they are fine or annoying or whatever. <laughs> That's the vice president statue. <laughs> I mean, I do like the sense of humor in this game. <laughs> Poor duck. <laughs> Dr. Quack. Dr. Quack, two cent gum. He's prepared the Novelizer 64. <laughs> we can use it to steal all the dusty old books in the world. And leave us as the only player in the market. Oh boy, poor Marky. I like it. I want to be on World's Fours, Fours Golf Course by lunchtime. <laughs> I wonder if I get to World Four if there's actually going to be a golf course. That'd be funny. So, yep, yeah, that's the plot. <laughs> They're stealing books. Quack, make sure you secure the special book. I mean, it looks nice, too. Ivory Towers. Pants and why you should wear them. <laughs> oh well. Oh. I mean, from what I've seen of Banjo Kazooie, this is very reminiscent of the game. He's no. Insects mainly. Delicious! They were. Okay. Oh, and some old book I, I've been using as a drink coaster. <laughs> Don't tell Marky. Hello! Uh oh. I'll split you 80 20 in my favor. Being sucked away very slowly. Ah. What? I forgot to have you on my speakers. I'm like, no, don't bleed through the uh, headset. Bleeding through the headset. I'm going to like... make Eddie's Eddie. I'm going to make Eddie's ears bleed. That doesn't really I don't want roll it to off the tongue. To be able to ca cause you to hear yourself and then have it repeat back into the stream and it just create this constant feedback issue. It's like, no. No! It's nice to have a double junk right off the bat. I know I have to go talk to the snake now so I can actually open up these treasure chests. Hi. Do we know you? Of course, it's me, Trouser. <laughs> yep, Trouser Snake. No problem there. Nope. At all. None at all. <laughs> this is this is rated what? T for Teen? A family game. This is a family game. For five quills, I did. Okay. Perhaps you can find enough in the stretch chest. Sure. I always want to know. I, I always want. I, that that phone just randomly ringing just 
throws it off. I just I wish that would ring like at uh, pre um, at certain times so that actually fit in with what I sang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay! I can yeah, do yeah. patrol attack. You know, I never, I probably should have tried seeing if I could play this with a game, with my GameCube USB controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay, quills! And now I'm gonna go collect everything. You will never hear the end of this, Eddie. Yep. Okay, so people are complaining about the camera. Um, I can move the camera with the left, with the, uh, right stick. I jumped off the edge. Yeah. I am smart. Hey. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. Let me see what else I can do. Yeah. I'm just going. I could come back there, Trouser, or I can continue exploring this overworld and collect every. Up for that, eh? Mm hmm. Me just running around and collecting everything I absolutely, absolutely can in this beginning area. Do it. This tutorial area. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hey. You know, I probably shouldn't control the move the camera around as much as I do. I'm so used to having to control the camera manually. But it does mean I can readjust yeah. the camera. Hi, Mr. Cannon. Uh -huh. Oh, oh! He's almost totally lost. He's almost totally, totally lost his voice. Your performance blows oh. away. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. 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 Okay, so I need a ground pound move. See, let me get on the ship. I want to get on the ship. See what happens. Okay. Hey. Butterflies, butterflies, hey. butter, 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 butterflies, yeah. butterflies. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Nothing here. I can't get in the ship. Not that way. I wonder how many... Can I look through the... Uh... Nope, no I can't. Okay. Can I get up there yet? No, I can't. I have to get some special moves to come back to... Uh... To this, er to this area later, but, um, yeah. Crossing the bridge! How many quills can I find in this area? Place your bets, ladies and germs. Place your bets. So far I have ten. Might be all I can get for right now. Now I actually have seen somebody play like the first so many minutes of this game. And basically by that I mean they play the tutorial. 
So what's really great is I know that Trouser, Trouser said he would only tell you the information if you got five quills. But he tells you the information and doesn't does not take the quills. So you can actually use them later to spend on moves. Okay, will do, Trouser. Okay. Okay, can't go up there. I know, I'll allow you to perform a double jump. I know. Just didn't do all that pressing, right? Crouch. Yay! A tutorial classic. We best stand close to the sign. Now it's gonna teach me how to swim. Use L to swim. How do I submerge? Probably B. Okay. L T or X can descend. We've all read the manual. Yep, you don't want to drown. That'd be horrible. Enemies! Got it. Bet right, but if they do attack us, I can always eat a nearby butterfly by pressing B. Cool. So you touch awesome. butterfly, you you get power meter stuff back, but if you press B. Yummy. We... So health hey. energy you choose. Yep. Which is, which is kinda nice. Don't need two different types of power-ups. What's up here? Oh. Shortcut. How can they just, like, when you're walking up and they turn around and go, Bleh! like it's supposed to stop you? Yeah. No trespassing, this is private property. Hello, we're searching for our missing book. It looks like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now, as will most of the world's supply before long. Mwahaha! That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a bookmobile? Actually, it's just one book in particular we're, we're interested in. Now, scram before I call security. Now, it's funny, as he sees us through the security camera and tells us to get lost or he'll call security, and yet we can just walk right in. You'd think they would lock the place down. We're in Ivory Towers. Yeah. Hi, Trouser! How are you doing? Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you've got up to speed with your basic moves. I don't know why I'm giving him that voice. Oh, I remember uh, who I, I was watching the tutorial from PB and Jeff. I know because they're doing they're doing weird voices. You could give him some small tutorial on the way in. I spotted a piece of your book. So, yep. We have the platform up to the top of the th top of the statue. Sure. I've got a, a special call coming up with the World One boss. He's one of my. He's after one of my super moves. Yeah, right. I love how they just reference like World One boss. World Four has a golf course. I mean, I'm re I really hope World 4 has a golf course. That would be hilarious. You never know. I'm not sure if we'll get to World 4, though. That's why I always say, you never know. Okay, well, let's see what we can do right here. Oh, that's 
cool. I can jump and spin like that. Okay, can't go up there. That's gonna have butterflies. Okay. That's a slippery slope. I love how... Ah! This overworld is set up so that um, there are areas you can't get to now, but when you get later, uh, special moves later, you can basically access uh, new uh, new areas. That's nice. No, I'm fine with Trouser. I'm just trying to uh, speed run this. Spe trying to speed run this, and uh, I'm running into a lot of trouble. I'm just getting too impatient. I'm trying to see how fast I can get up here. Hello there. Eddie, we should we should talk like this entire time and just have like dialogue appearing in the the chat the chat room. How annoying do you think that would get? Especially when you get when it shows up on YouTube and they don't have a transcript. <laughs> it's hilarious to think about, but at the same time, it's just like, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. That page is the one book is just an empty shell. He used me to unlock one of the grand tomes in this factory. We can transport to another world and search for more of my friends. I will be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go find the first world. Okay. We'll do. if I just jump off. No? Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Yes, I do. Two new locations. How about we make a deal? Okay. For every Grand Tome you unlock, I'll help your quest with a new move. Free of charge. Oh, cool. Thank you. First complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. Hold down, you'll get the grip you need to roll up slippery ramps. Oh, thank you. Okay. The longer you use this move, the more you'll drain your power bar. Okay. I could do that. See, I could do that, or I can go back outside and use that ability. Let me see. View uh, totals. So, totals. We have Hyvary Tower, which I've collected all the quills. Is there one? What's that butterfly? And I'll wait until I get the ground pound. Or I'll do it at the end of the first impressions. Peachy and Keiji. Okay, how do I get, get you out? Uh, Keiji are unlocked by solving nearby puzzles, but you'll, you've not yet learned the correct move to help me. Okay. Peachy. 
Okay, there's the puzzle. So I kind of know what I need to do here. Hey. Oh, right trigger. Oh, that was easy. Yes, I did make it to the first grand toe. Cool, thank you. That's right, once you decide, don't forget to find Trouser. It sounds like those movie cells will help you out on your adventure. I can just go up here. Huh. Yes, I want to unlock the travel stack tropics. Yep. Cool. No problem, dude. Let's see. Can I get oh. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do that. Going in. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. We got smushed by a book. Neighbors asleep? You can set audio options from the from the pause menu, okay? To unlock pages and cages, a challenge must be completed. I know they told us. Took chuffing agents to make all those dance collectible dances. Cool. Chant attacks together to perform combo moves. Use buddies buddy slam to activate floor switches and smash objects. Yeah. Use reptile roll to traverse slippery surfaces. Did that. Find cards in each book world to attempt his minecart challenge. <laughs> to go all uh, Donkey Kong there. Follow the quills! Oh, oh. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Come here, you. Yeah. Refill my bar. Come here. Yeah. Dead. 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 Get special pillsies. Who the heck are you? Yeah. Hey. I feel like you're somebody I need to come back to. Wait, wait! Quills! Quills! Give me the quills! What's over here? Okay, free all five and the treasure will trade. Well, I know the, where, the, where another one is. I'm gonna go get him. Yep. New tactics I'll need. Sure, I, there's one right up here. I'll come back to you. What do we have up what do we have up here? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I, I think there's no meat on your bones to actually create stew. Boy, no need for name calling. Hey. 
What's up? <laughs> She's looking a bit malnourished. What? Oh, that that's a girl? I should I should have been known by the pink. If they're hungry, they'll need a character a bit more fleshed out. <laughs> World class explorer these days. Without being cooked and eaten. I don't think you're gonna get eaten, dude. I mean, do that. Oh, sure. Sure, I'll help you out. Uh -huh. oh, step away from, from pot, strange dinosaur. Wow. Hug, lizard and bat go good with skeleton soup. Add much body. I'm twirling around. Wahoo! Looks like dinner's canceled. Wait, that's all we need to, needed to do? This Bruce took a real beating, but I have a feeling they'll be back. Can you feel it in your bones? <laughs> um, but we still haven't gotten you out. Okay, you, you can just hang hang there. Can go inside. Except I go back outside. Okay. There's nothing here. Looks like you found enough pills for my first move. Okay, whatever, dude. Oh. Well, this looks unfinished. Okay, let's see where it can go. I mean, I still haven't still haven't found trouser in this world yet. Oh, they respawn. Hey, yeah, hey. Die, monsters! Actually, 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 let me go across this way. Cause I saw quills. Hey, yeah, hey. Okay, how many? Yeah. How many pages are there? Okay, there are... In this world, there are 25 pages, 200 quills, and... Uh, whatever. One, of every, one of everything else. I have a lot of things to find. Is what we're saying. Oh, who are you? Hello, plant. Well, screw you, plant. What about you, cloud person? A cloud with a 64 in their hat. Oh, you, you look like a racy bear. Hello. Nimble the cloud. I want to see who's, who's most racy, you know, in a race around my course. Let's go racing! Cloud based racing. How next gen? Go fast. Go fast. Go faster, 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 faster. Down my way, Cloud. Of 
I'll give those pages later. I mean, those quills later. Where are the butterflies? I ran out of juice. Yeah, let's rerun. Can I jump while I'm in ball form? Uh huh. Yeah, I can. Awesome. So that's how I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to jump to get um, some of these uh, butterflies. Crap. Have energy. Just to make sure I get these butter flues. It's a little annoying camera angle. Man. Okay, this is a little tricky. I'm not going to give up, though. Yeah, I'm ready to give it another go. They put some of these butterflies, though, few and far between, it's very hard to catch them. Maybe I need, like, a longer energy bar? Oh, crap, I skipped right over those. Like, there's this long stretch here that has zero butterflies. No! The thing is, you have to constantly roll, or the cloud gets away from you. Okay, I can hit these butterflies here. This next group I need to jump to hit. And I miss them for some reason. I can hit those. This corner is very tight and annoying. Okay, I should have just enough energy and got it. Got it. Mine. Mine. I'll take it. I'll take it, Pagey. I know you have one. I know you have a Pagey. Give me, give me your thing. Oh yeah, of course. Congrats on winning! Yay! And I shall kill you all. Ow! Ground pound there. Have to use a move I don't have. Lady, hello, lady. You know how you, you have a beard, right? The cruddy duo, capital B, is making all the fuss about. Uh, wait, he knows about us already. Hmm. Doctor Puzz. Well, I used to be before that dastardly Doctor Quack stole all of my re research. What's wrong with her arms? Uh, uh, Shh! <laughs> I love that. It's probably an experiment gone wild. Go, gone wrong. It's only a bit sucky, that's all. You're experiencing some technical or er, technical difficulties. Oh, no, everything's okay. Better than okay, even. I've just been tweaking my favorite invention, which is, has a magnificent power to transform. I think it's just gone wrong. Only a damaged prototype was left behind after that horrible business with Dr. Quack, but 
<laughs> it's now transforming as normal. Well, other than one small incident. I have an inkling what that might have been. <laughs> Find me this... Okay, cool. I can power up a Molly Cool. Okay, power up the DNA Ray and DNA Ray and help you on your adventure. Doc, okay, Doc, we'll see or er, see what we can do. I better not end up with barnacles, you got. <laughs> no worry, no worries, Laylee. Hey, plant person. Sorry, I've got no business with you, lizard. All these people are so rude. There's all these unfinished walkways. Probably what's going to happen when the world expands. Okay, so this is the racetrack. Let me run around and see if I can see any... Yep. I was just looking for, um... Oh, wait, 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 there's a... Aha! And there's a Platonic coin thing. Yay, play coins! Returning to Rextro for some fun. So now I just have to do some platforming. Not too bad. Well, except for the little. Except for the edge that made me hit my head. Ow! Let me actually just... Is this Rextro? First of all, I'm just healing. Penny... Cartos Ray... Uh, Cartos Cardi. Hello! Hello there, strange polygonal dinosaur. Are you sure you're in the, the right game or decade? This is Rextro 64, Seti. Yay! Friends all vanish to play, a, play on a line. Rextro plays single player games until friends come back. How long have you been waiting for your friends, Rextro? Since 1997. <laughs> We're sure they will be here soon. <laughs> No wonder you blocky game char characters went extinct. Well, Rextro crowdfunded return, but cool old school games to play. Got cool, not no, got cool, cool old school games to play. Rextro had to borrow assets from other games, but don't tell. <laughs> Friends will need Playcoin to make arcade work. Okay, here, here, Playcoin. Beat game. Rextro will give you a special prize. Ah! I fell down. Time to play the game! Yep, we're gonna play a game. Cartos Karting! Yay! I think this is a minecart minigame. Okay, drive and then shoot. Five lap race, grab power up, shoot things, get the fastest time. Drive, dodge, smash. These just three things player uh, does in optical film for Rex not remember other things. So it's a top down racer, okay. So kind of like uh, some of the old 64 minigame modes, or um, the Top Racer mode, Top Racer game from um, from uh, Kirby's Air Ride. Uh -huh. Ow! 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 Boost. Ow. 
Ow. I mean, I'm not... Am I trying to beat something? I'm not sure. I mean, I should probably stop, stop uh, running into fire. I'm, I'm racing against, or it's probably not helping that I keep running into things. Never really great at these top-down racers. Kind of like roll your reverse controls. Oh crap! Why would you do such a thing? Why would you do such a thing? That was weird. I ran into all the fire. I mean, it could be worse. I could be racing against people. point of shooting things. I mean, it makes sense if I was racing, but, like, if I was actually racing somebody, it would make a little bit of sense, but... But those bullets uh -huh. don't actually affect any of the things on the course, so, I mean, it's, it's kind of useless. And if this was actually a, uh, a racer where you're uh, racing, like I said, you're racing opponents, then yeah, I get it, but there's nothing here. It's just a thing of, you just have to kind of just finish. It, yeah, it, it wasn't really hard. Memory what? This time, if bit friend beat high school, Rextro give another prize. Sure. What's the high score I have to beat? I have to beat two minutes and thirty seconds. That might be hard. that might be difficult. That might be difficult. Especially since I keep running into flames. Ah! Yeah, why? 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 Yeah, that set me back. use just trying to shoot these things. Because it doesn't do anything. Like, if it would get rid of that obstacle, I could just take some shortcuts or whatnot, but, um, yeah, that... That doesn't do a thing! I think I haven't gone to school. 
you have to have this down to a T. And... Freaking seriously? More flames? No, just... Bulk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you actually can kill those things. Awesome. That's nice to know. You just can't kill the big things. I mean, I don't think it makes a difference now. But the thing is, after you get hit, you can't, like, just shoot the things and kill them. So, they're almost invincible uh, when you don't see them. Like, when they're up, when you can't, you can't hit them, so they're kind of invincible. Oh, and they come back, so that kind of makes it almost completely useless. Okay. Two minutes and fifty-seven seconds. Yes, I want to play again. Sure. Just kind of like a get good scrub type deal. So I think it's five minutes. So I have to, if I beat it in under 3.30, I should beat Rextro's high score. Oh, now you change! I see! I wish I could just go in between the flames. I actually was trying that, but uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Wait, 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 wait. I killed the thing and it still hurt me. Okay. Okay. Screw you. Just, just, screw you. Great, slow motion. So nice. Ah, come on! Come off it! You're putting these things deliberately in my path where I can't avoid them. I mean, dirty pool game. Dirty pool. I keep missing those, and I keep missing those, and I keep missing them. I don't think I'm going to get it. They're, I mean, they're BSF obstacles. I mean, your, your little tiny pea shooter here is actually almost completely worthless. I mean, if it's, a, if it's just a, a thing of get good scrub, that's one thing. But it's not. It's not just a matter of getting good. It's that these obstacles will randomly change, and um, your pea shooter, which should help you clear away some stuff, some bad stuff in front of you, does not work. It does not help you at all. It does not help you at all in order to actually uh, help you achieve a high score. It's worth it just trying to hope you can avoid them, and sometimes it's bad luck because they'll descend right on top of your head. So, no more of this. That's for damn sure. No more of what? That. What that? Uh, that mini game thing. Oh, I came close. <sighs> I'm just trying to get the, beat the top score so I can get the pagey. Right. But it's it's BS the way it's designed. I mean, to have an ability. That is completely useless. That they basically make narrow one uh, narrow areas where you can only go one way, and then they'll put uh, 
harmful power-ups in front of in front of you that way, so that you will run it in, run into them and uh, get delayed. The fact that ah, come off it! The fact that you cannot run in between flames, like in between the flames uh, shooters, it's impossible to run between them. I tried. And I don't know when they uh, when they change. Whoa, 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 lag. That screwed me up quite a bit. Come on, no, no, no! Not at the beginning! Not at the beginning! Why would you do that game? Why would you do that? Screw you! I mean, the pea shooter is completely worthless. Actually, that kind of helped me. It's, it's an ability that should help you, like I said, oh! Should help you reverse avoid enemies, but um, by the time they are descending like that, it does not help you whatsoever. And when you need need to use it uh, as soon as they descend, and you get hurt, and you need to knock them out so you don't get friggin' hit again, you can not fire the thing, making it completely useless for everything you'd want to use it for. They might as well have you like. Uh, spurt feathers out of your butt because it does the same thing. It's completely useless to you. So, fuck this game. I understand that Heiji is important, but... Oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get this freaking thing. I mean, essentially it's not so much skill, but good luck as far, but luck as, far as avoiding certain obstacles at certain times. Oh, that's BS. I mean, there's no way to avoid that. And then they just have those skull potion things on there just to screw with you. I mean, those are essentially big giant middle fingers. And then he goes, oh, you're unlucky. It's like, really? Really? We're going to go with the you're unlucky thing? I didn't say it. They did. I mean, screw you, Rextro! I mean, if you also permanently killed the enemies that got in your way with the with the uh, little pea shooter, that would also be fine. But they come right back! Meaning everything you do is completely useless. Oh, and you knocked me off course. Congratulations. Thank you for being a complete jerk. The bad thing is that Skull Potion is now going to be right there near the end for pretty much the rest of the race. So it's almost guaranteed to screw with me at some point. And the thing is, these fire... Uh, these fire geysers change instantaneously. There's no, uh, like, quick spurt of flame to just give you an indication that they're getting ready to change. Nope. They change and just completely screw you over at some point. You have to essentially hope you're lucky in getting past them. I mean, this is essentially less skill and a lot of luck. I mean, I'm just have done this over and over again, so that I'm I'm starting to get um, just some uh, some memory in my and how I control this, some muscle memory. So 
so I can actually make like small adjustments. And really, when I kill something like that, it shouldn't still be able to screw me over. But it can. I mean, I'm, I'm able to make really small, minute changes now. No, not reverse controls! Screw you! Might as well go this way. If it wasn't for hitting the things over and over again, I would that would have been the race. I would be happy if sometime later in the game I can just kill Rextro. Just string him up. This is why your friends don't want to play with you, Rextro. This is why! They left you! Because you're because you're of your stupid freaking games. Nobody likes you, Rextro. You have no friends. Stupid dinosaur. You're the. F I mean, you're the. You're the kind of person who loved Donkey Kong 64, weren't you? Made everybody suffer through that, didn't you? I mean, that's a collectible gone wrong. I say, that wasn't the worst game ever. I mean, you've got the Pongo game. Donkey Kong 64? I think you're thinking of the wrong game, dude. No, I was thinking of the, uh... I think you're thinking for the game, uh, the game for the GameCube. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. That's what I was saying. But Donkey Kong 64 wasn't the worst game. There was that one. That's the not Mongo Donkey Kong 64! Duh, you jackass! What I'm saying is that Donkey Kong 64 wasn't the worst game! The one that was the worst would have been the Mongo one! I think we're having, two, I think we're having two completely different conversations here. No! Oh man, I went off. Don't take me back to the beginning! When I'm right there at the end, don't take me back to the beginning! I'm right there at the end! You can spawn me right freaking there! Even Lakitu is not that callous, you jerks! You're freaking more callous than the guy who lives on a cloud! What gives?! His entire job is to screw people over in the race! Although they screw themselves, it just slows them down. And even he's got beyond that. In fact, he's racing with Mario now. Mario actually invited him over to a freaking race. He and Lakitu have, uh, have mended things. I always hit also... slow motion right at the end. I mean, he, only, he also invited Bowser, so... I got it! I got it! I got it! Screw you, Rex! Screw you and your stupid game! <laughs> Screw you! You got it by nine! You got it by nine! You could have put in your input as ASS just because! Yeah, but it doesn't allow you to. Aw, oh, boo! I mean, at least if it allowed you to get an option, that'd be great. Please, friends, write humorous leaderboard name on golden piece of paper. Sure, Rextro, we'll, well, we'll um, bring this right back. Seriously, how did he survive the HD era? He didn't. His friends all kicked them out of his house. Uh, out of their house. Do friends want to play again? No! No, screw you! I'm not playing 